Hi students, in this exercise we will learn how to add cut fill volume surface grid labels in Civil 3D. It is best for grading contractors and estimator. So multiple labels placed in a grid pattern on the plan can be huge help for these two uh, purposes or for these two fields like grading contractors and estimator. So in this exercise we will use the volume surface which we generated already in the previous exercises to create a set of surface labels on the volume surface that reflect depth of cut and fill. So it's, just, uh, it's our purpose for this exercise to populate cut fill volume labels on this pound area in grid so it will basically set of surfaces a set of surface labels in grid open your drawing 416 from the description link i will put the link you can download this drawing from the annotate tab label and tables panels here you will select add labels surfaces and here you will see spot elevation on grid at the select a surface select one of the surface triangle and click ok you can also select this from the list so then you can select and ok just press ok at the specify grid base point pick a point southwest of the pound volume surface to set a base point for the grid here just here and at the grid rotation here you can see on the command line pick a point to the right that defines a line relatively parallel to surface for example here and at a grid x for grid x spacing just put 7 and for grid y spacing put 7 also and then at the specify uh, sorry just press enter and specify the upper right location for the grid pick a point northeast of the pound volume surface to the set of the area for labels for example just here so it's totally covered our pound area just verify that the preview window encompasses the pond value surfaces and press enter the command line to continue now back to step 4 triangle edge from existing surface was selected therefore the result Thing labels are displaying elevation of this surface instead of depth labels of the pond volume surface so you can now change the object a labels as a reference you can see these labels are just generated for the existing ground because we were select them for before as existing surface which is this triangular surfaces just click a label and right click to select similar type PR plus enter to open the properties panel here on the properties panel under the second general uh, section double click the value field next to surface to change the surface dialog P as surface being referenced by the label to the pond volume surface and close the properties just press escape to clear the selection 
your drawing now should look like this and incidentally any label placed over existing surface they do not coincide with bond volume it will show as question mark you can see here so you can delete these labels clear your drawing area but as you can see here on the pound area you will see cut and fill volume labels on a proper grid which we was explained in the steps so hope you like this video please stay with us for this type of advanced civil 3d